Channel 9, WAFB TV, Baton Rouge. Good morning, boys and girls. It's 8.30 and time for a visit to Buckskin Bill's Storyland Cabin. So now let's open the cabin doors and see what Buckskin Bill is doing today. buttons, pushing buttons, pushing buttons. That was a long time ago, too. It was a trick. Yeah, your hair was black. All black, and it was a different set. And uh, that was from yesteryear. And we hear from what seems like your postal cards and letters. You all want to see things you remember on Storyland. Good morning. Welcome to Storyland. That's the name of this television program. My name is Buckskin Bill Black. This is What's Your Name? Welcome to Storyland at 8.30. Why? <laughs> It's, that's what it says when it, when it introduces Storyland. It says, welcome to Storyland at 8.30 this yeah, morning. You're certainly right. We've made an error, haven't we? It's 9 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock. Storyland has changed. You are magazine fans. Gee, I'm sorry. Your show this week will not be on Channel 9, WAFB-TV, but next week our magazine returns at 11 o'clock on WAFB-TV, Channel 9. Our magazine returns to our schedule next week at 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock right here on big booming powerful channel nine and storyland as you can see has returned to its original time nine o'clock every monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday right. if you were a puppet your hair wouldn't have gotten gray it would have just gotten flatter <laughs> is that what happens to puppets hair that's what happened to mine really as you get older your hair just gets flatter that's true that's true of course if i was a different kind of puppet perhaps uh Maybe my hair wouldn't get flatter, I don't know. You've already read our format and seen some of the mail, haven't you? That's right. It's interesting to me that as you get home from school, and some of you haven't been able to watch Storyland, nearly everyone remembers watching it one time or another, and the things you request, and many of them are vintage, that means they have age on them, and the string puppet, we have a, a cut of Mr. James Webb, who's really quite an eminent and famous puppeteer. He happens to live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Right. Marion, that's the name of this puppet. Marionette? Marionette. Marionette. When they have strings, they are a marionette. Right. Yeah. And they have a hand, they're hand puppets. Right. Well, this puppet has strings, and he has it rigged. Mr. Webb makes all his puppets, and he right. has it rigged with a tube, a plastic tube, that you can't see. 
and he has a little squeeze bottle of water. And this puppet's name is Everett. I do remember Everett, that. That's and he right. sings an old song called Puppy Love. And he cries. And, it, and when he's singing it, then Mr. Webb, you can't see him, he presses on the tube and water squirts out of Everett's eyes. And it, everybody gets a shower that's sitting on the front row. Yeah, that happens too, but you won't get a shower on television, of course. But I never do that. No, no, you don't do that. Well, as long as we're doing that, and it's Tuesday and our television program is live, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, in our mammoth, magnificent, make-believe auditorium. With marionette. James Webb and a marionette named Everett. Virginia Hill. My students really look forward to their weekly Newsline 9 current events quiz. Channel 9 prepares the quiz and distributes it to the school. It's an excellent teaching tool. Those folks at Newsline really are concerned. Our weekly news quiz is only part of Newsline's involvement in our schools. We're committed to do more than just report on education. We think there are ways a TV station can help and we're going to stay involved. The Monday through Saturday at 6.30 on TV9. TV9 is the only television station on which you see Buckskin Bill's Storyland. Right. But I think, I think if you don't mind, probably we need to tell people about those strings. I'm afraid they don't You're understand. You're all uptight about puppets today. Right. You that, want to tell people about the strings? Thing. Yeah, you couldn't hardly see the strings. Maybe if you used... You have some marionettes. Maybe you could show them. I have some small marionettes that have strings I can show. This will be show and tell, I guess, huh? That one's an old senior puppet. Let's see, I think it's 
string or two in there. Okay, if the puppet has strings, it is a marionette, right? Right, right. And this puppet has strings, and you notice right. that the puppet's control. This string controls that foot, and this string controls right. that foot. Now, string. Everett had one that controlled his mouth. Oh, he had many strings. Oh, kind of yeah. stuff. That's, that's a marionette, and you are a hand puppet. That's right. In which hand puppet? We're going to do uh, finger puppets, too, today. Oh, okay. Sure, I, I meant to tell you. Not only are we going to do hand puppets, but we have a finger puppet. And just as hands control hand puppets and strings control marionettes, fingers control this. And we're going to do this later, though. Right. Okay. We used to have the little baby bear, but he ran away into the woods. Yeah, we lost it. Right. And uh, we had a discussion. Some of you musicologists who are watching might want to... Uh, help us. We right. can't remember who recorded the song, Puppy Love. Yeah. I thought it was Johnny Ray, but I'm told it's not. Someone has suggested Frankie Avalon. Wasn't Johnny Ray. And, uh, couldn't have been Johnny Ray. Couldn't have been Johnny Ray. 383 Now, let's don't get the switchboard ringing off. Somebody who knows might tell us. Gwen will tell us. Okay. Happy birthday to Casey Kelly. Casey Kelly. Oh, your drawings. Your drawings for the 4th of July. Neat. Oh, as you would say. And I'm going to show these and remind people every day. Here's one we just received today. That's from over on Lassen Drive in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. That's great. Yeah, I like it. That's a home, I believe. It's a home on sticks. Well, I thought it was a Superdome for a while. Julie did that one. Thank you, Julie. American flag with fireworks. Boom, 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 boom. Exploding. <laughs> all over the place. And here's from Sherrington, Louisiana. On some pictures from Sherrington. Okay. This was written last Thursday. Let me get these pictures correctly. Dear Buckskin Bill, we just moved here from Silsby, Texas. Okay. And my two girls love your show. Please say hello to Degari and Daphne. Patrick. Maybe it's Daphne. Dagri? Daphne. Daphne. No, it's, it's... It's Daphne? Well, Daphne. Daphne. That's Daphne. You're right. Boy, am I butchering those Texas names. Dagri, I believe, is the is the other one. I'm going to have to have help on that. Three and two, they might be giggling at the way I'm pronouncing your name. Dagri would like what's your name to use her name one day thank you debbie patrick we all three drew a fourth of july picture while i show the picture why don't you see if you can figure out okay. what that name is so we can say it i can't think of anything worse than not pronouncing the names correctly silsby texas welcome you're now in big nine territory in sherrington louisiana wafb tv this is the station where you just get all your information and everything we're very active in the big, booming, powerful Channel 9 area. Yeah. Looks like Daphne, Chantel, Patrick, and Dakery to Neil Patrick. Dakery, okay. Yeah, that's what it looks like to me. Okay. Some people learning about TV today. The Guardian Angels are here Ooh. from Brownfield. They all have on identical T-shirts. That's always neat, I think. In the Brownsfield area, this is a daycare. And, of course, they've been instructed. Holly always tells them. Phil, Phil gets the picture, but Holly tells them. You know why they all have on the same T-shirts, probably? Why? Because if you ever went anywhere with a lot of people, it's hard to keep track of them and find them. But if they all have on the same T-shirt, it's easier. Well, it's okay if you don't have on the same T-shirt. Right. It's perfectly acceptable not to have one and to... That's well. I have on the folk. same T-shirt. Okay. Yeah, you have a buckskin T-shirt on. That's my favorite T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Storyland is live. That means it's happening just as you're watching on WAFB TV. And uh, it's time for us to do a ritual that we do every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday on television. A ritual 
What's a ritual? It's a procedure you go through over and over. And this ritual is to get better acquainted so you know who we are, where we are, and what we are. And when we do that, I call it station identification. Watch. You're watching Storyland, and it's coming your way on WAFB-TV, Channel 9 in Baton Rouge. to read. Visit one of the ten branches of the East Baton Rouge Parish Library. Did you catch it? What is it? It's absolutely, positively the most dutiful half hour on television. I mean, we're talking Malibu mania, honkarama, and beach party is a go-go. That show is fully radical. You mean you still don't know I'm talking about? The new Gidget. Unbelievable. Where have you been? The new Gidget. Saturday mornings. Right. Just special effects. Right. That's for sure. Special effects and tricks and things. Yeah, every day has a name. Every oh. day has a number. Yesterday's name was Monday, but Monday's over. Tuesday always follows Monday, and reads capital T U E S D A Y. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday's number was the. 27th day of June, but yesterday is over. Today is the 28th day of June. We remind you most every day the idea is that time passes and... Tomorrow's Uncle BJ's birthday. Who? Uncle BJ. Ha tomorrow? Happy okay. birthday tomorrow, Uncle BJ. Tomorrow's Gwen's birthday and Janice's birthday. It's really Aunt BJ. Oh, it's Aunt, Aunt BJ. It's Uncle Jesse, but everybody calls her Uncle BJ. <laughs> I don't understand it myself. It's really Aunt BJ, but everybody calls her Uncle BJ? Right. They get confused or something. I don't know. Maybe they call Uncle Jesse Aunt Uncle BJ. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. These people moved here from Texas? That's what the letter says. Still to be Texas. They're brand new in the community? Brand new in Sherrington, Louisiana. I wonder if anybody brought them a chocolate cake yet. You know? Brought him a chocolate cake. I don't know. Or invited know. them over to dinner after church or something. Well, I don't know. Well, maybe they could uh, go and 
meet the children and tell them where the schools are and all the playgrounds and stuff. Yeah, talking about being neighborly. Right. I would guess in Sharrington, Louisiana, people probably are doing that, welcoming right. Where is Patrick. Sharrington, Louisiana? Well, you'll have to look on the Louisiana map. Oh, okay. Okay. Playmakers today at the Central Plex branch. That's downtown at the Central Plex branch of the Parish Library. Parish Library. Well, and uh, showtime is 10 o'clock today. 10 o'clock today and tomorrow they're going to be in the Baker Municipal Auditorium. It's the Baker Library, of course. But showtime tomorrow in Baker at the Municipal Auditorium is 10.30. Mm -hmm. Today is 10 o'clock at the Downtown Library. I wonder if Mary Scaris is still at the Downtown Library. I don't know. Happy birthday to Bruce Schilling. Bruce Schilling's 12 years old watching this television program. Well, we've talked about hand puppets and string puppets, and today we're going to talk about finger puppets, finger too. Puppets. And before I do that, I have to get everything all squared away here and remind you of the 4th of July pictures. Goldilocks. What? Goldilocks and the invisible puppet today, huh? <laughs> well, we're going to show that you can often have fun without having to have toys very often we think we have to have toys and things from the store which are certainly nice but you can also have fun just by innovating you know just as we played holly gully with uh, the bottle caps and they made the noise well if you have a finger puppet that's swell but you may not have a finger puppet so if you don't have a finger puppet, you just maybe have your hands and you're going to have to think, well, what can we do? I'll be back to discuss that with you and we'll show and do after we pause for this commercial break. Hi, I'm Donna Britt and this is my friend Eddie Bradford. This time last year, Eddie couldn't read that book, couldn't read his mail, couldn't read a job application. He's doing much better now. Eddie learned how to read through a wonderful local program. It's called Operation Upgrade. But the program needs funding. You can help with just a few dollars. Help someone else, like Eddie. It's one of the most popular quiz shows. What is Jeopardy? Now I've got one. It's the answer to a half hour of fun. What is playing Jeopardy? Now my turn. He's the host with all the answers and knows the right questions. Who's Alex Trebek? They're talking Jeopardies. Jeopardies, the ability to communicate in the form of a question. Okay, now let's see if you can speak it. The answer is, it's the time and channel you can watch Jeopardy. Weekday afternoons at 4.30 on TV9. Welcome back to Storyland Live on a Tuesday morning. I'm Buckskin Bill Black, and you're on Channel 9, WAFB-TV. We may be another number on your television dial if you're watching on an antenna cable system or a cable system. Most of them have us as Channel 9. We were talking earlier about puppets and things to do, and, and we had a hand puppet, which is what's-your-name, right. play-like, right. made out of cloth and plastic eyes. Foam rubber. Foam rubber and fake, fake hair. hair. Then we have the string puppet, Senor Puppet, which was made in Mexico. It's made out of cloth and wood and strings. And then this is what we call a finger puppet. Right. And this puppet, you, you can get faces and doll heads and those things of what we call the dime store, can't right. you? They right. have that for crafts people. This finger puppet, and I'll show you how it's made. You see, they took, they took a doll's head, and I guess they had the glue on that. Well, I think it's sewn on. You can just sew through the plastic. Through the, yep, through yeah. the plastic and the felt. Okay. Make the felt puppet shape, and then you add whatever you want to it to make it okay, look like what the, you want. In the back here, there's a piece of elastic. That elastic should go around my wrist, correct? Right, right. Like so, and then I put the fingers down like that. Right. So that when I move those two fingers, and from our lesson on Storyland, we know we have the index finger and the middle finger. We can call it pointer and middle man or middle person if you want. They used to call it that's acceptable in school. Right. Because we have five fingers and uh, when you get them together then you're available for an old-fashioned storyland finger day.
Okay. So. And there you have the famous buckskin bill finger dance. That's correct. Right. That was fun. I like it when they step forward and then they step back. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> I'm going to put this back where it belongs. Okay. I usually tell you, remember to put your toys away, and I feel that's very important. I think you should put your toys away. That way, the next time you want to use a toy, you know exactly where it is located. Story tomorrow on Storyland. Playmakers tomorrow on Storyland. I think you'll like that. Bunch of stuff, is what your name would say. And Storyland is moved till 9 o'clock on WAFB TV. Four times over on this Tuesday. Live. I'm Buckskin Bill Black and 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 uh, and uh, and uh, Marvin. Saying you're never completely dressed until you put on a smile. Thanks for being so nice to us. So long from the Buckskin Bill Storyland Television Program.